What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcraft and WordPress plugin tutorials. And if you can believe it, Elementor is now taking on the whole gallery plugin market. And uh, I guess we could have seen this coming because I'm sure it's a highly request requested feature uh, from uh, the Elementor community. Now, there's a couple points I want to hit on this. We're not going to dive into every single little detail of their Pro Gallery widget, um, but I want to talk about what I think is really great about this plugin, what is just so-so in this plugin, and some of the things that might change your thinking of like how I use a gallery plugin. One thing that might go under the radar, which uh, is right at the top of their article, is the fact that they have built an original JavaScript engine uh, to power this gallery widget. And there's a few reasons why I think this is a smart move from Elementor and we're going to see things uh, mature over time. So number one, if you are a consultant talking to somebody about using Elementor and using a gallery plugin, you know, and, and maybe you have your way of doing gallery plugins in the past, and somebody says, hey, I just want to use this Elementor thing. Let me just use that. Maybe the first thing a consultant might say or somebody in the room sitting with you might say is it's going to be slower. It's going to be bloated. It's going to have features and functions that we just uh, don't need or there are features and functions we do need that it will never have. And I think what Elementor is doing by removing this component of their engine and sort of building it independently is one a marketing and sales play. So you can see right here in one of the bullet points, it's lightweight, only 14.7 kilobytes, minified JavaScript and CSS. That's a selling point. That's for any of the naysayers that are looking at it going, we're just going to add more bloat to our Elementor or to our, our WordPress website. We don't want it. Element, Elementor is saying, look, we're building this independent with speed and performance in mind. So that's a great thing. Second to that is I would imagine that Elementor is going to do some other things with their gallery function um, in another context. So, you know, I've been a fan of Elementor as a SaaS business, right? So I think that the next inevitable step is that Elementor has a SaaS based component. It is an experience that is, uh, you know, decoupled from WordPress and you can go and you can build Elementor websites independent of WordPress. Maybe WordPress is the underpinning, but there might be a move to a SaaS based business. So they're going to do some things with this gallery component. And it also allows them to do some more things because people aren't just putting galleries or photos into galleries to display photos. Maybe they're doing um, prints, like full-size prints that you can print out or purchase, right? So e-commerce play there. Um, sometimes galleries are confined to a membership area, so connecting those dots together. So there's a lot to be done with galleries. It's not just showing photos, and uh, I think it's smart of them uh, to do that. Now, if you're like me, you've always used a plugin for galleries, you know, forever, right? You didn't ever use the gallery component of the media gallery except for very lightweight sites. Um, but Enviro Gallery is a plugin that I've always used uh, when I was building sites with galleries. And this is one trade off, I think you have to understand that you'll be making as a consultant or somebody building their website. So, as a standalone gallery plugin, there is a traditional standalone admin screen for creating these plugins. And you come right here, you can see all your galleries in one fell swoop. You can copy the short codes or, um, you know, rearrange them, organize them, it, you know, uh, manage them all in one screen. Um, and Envira is pretty easy. I'm not going to go into all the details about Envira, but you simply upload the image here. You can rearrange them. You can modify them, that kind of thing. And this is free Envira. Uh, and it's also important to note that the Pro Gallery is only in Elementor Pro. So you do have to purchase Elementor Pro in order to get this gallery feature. Whereas using a plugin like Enviro Gallery, it's free. You're not going to get all of the competing features that Elementor is including, but you get a basic gallery. The point here is when you decouple the gallery administration from a page builder, if you have customers or team members that manage the WordPress site with you and they manage galleries specifically, it's very easy for them to log into a WordPress site, go to all galleries, find the gallery they need to edit, edit this gallery and just do all of their work right here, devoid of any kind of page building experience. And while I understand Elementor has some access role components where you can give people direct access to just a particular page, 
it's still kind of cumbersome. And I don't know about you, but as a consultant, I've worked with small businesses that use gallery uh, plugins for sponsorship pages, for team pages, uh, for lists of uh, availability of products, that kind of thing. And the folks that they have administer that, they're not web developers. They're afraid to log into WordPress. And when they need to remove a sponsor or add a sponsor, they come right here, they click on all galleries and they modify it and they're in and they're out. Pretty simple. While with Elementor, you will have to go to a page, you will have to edit with Elementor, you will have to see and sort of manipulate the widgets here. Let me just get rid of this to show an example. Um, I'm actually just gonna search for gallery and drag this gallery over. They will have to come in here and sort of just modify this all within the uh, editing experience of Elementor. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just different and something that you should be uh, aware of. But it's pretty cool. I mean, you can come in, you can change um, the grid, uh, from grid layout to justified layout. You can do masonry, you can play with the spacing. Um, you can play with the spacing on mobile or desktop uh, devices, that kind of thing. You can really do a lot with it, and it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the styling is nice. You can apply some hover effects. Uh, you can do some uh, overlay uh, animations. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, when you hover over it, you can do things like slide in, slide right, that kind of thing. Um, it's really you know, feature packed as you would imagine coming from the Elementor team. Um, and you can make these galleries uh, pretty easily and pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> you can design these, these galleries pretty well with the options that they give you. Now, one thing you can do if, um, you know, it's something that goes against sort of what I was saying before is, well, you just come in here and you can edit these galleries independent. One workaround to doing that with um, uh, with Elementor is to save it as a global uh, widget. So I could always come in here and say master gallery, save. And then my master gallery will be in the global element. So that's the other advantage. If you wanted to use the same gallery across multiple pages, uh, you could just do that nice and easy. Grab the short code, go to a page, drop it in. Super simple. Uh, in fact, if I go to my all pages here on this test site and we look at the Enviro gallery test, uh, I'll just drop in a block here. So let me go Enviro gallery they have a block for it it's styled really well i only have one gallery it's a test gallery you select it boom it displays it um, pretty easy pretty agile uh, with elementor you save that as a global widget and then you're you're able to go to any elementor page and just drop it right in which again it's sort of the same workaround where it's like how do i reuse these galleries well you just save it as a global widget and then you can repurpose it across uh, any page so awesome new feature from Elementor. It doesn't surprise me with all of the stuff that they have in Elementor, pop-ups, now galleries. I'm telling you now, the future is going to be e-commerce, <laughs> you know, and it's going to be forms. Um, that's all going to come uh, in advanced as uh, Elementor advances. But before we go, I want to take a look at just a rudimentary test of performance of default Elementor gallery versus Envira gallery using the same images on blank pages. So I'm in Chrome. I have the uh, network tab up in the inspector tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a hard refresh uh, on that. And there will be some different things at play here when you first reload it. I'm going to reload it a couple of times just to give it a chance here. I'm going to do it one more time. And you can see that at the very bottom here, 34 requests, 562 kilobytes transferred, 1.4 megabytes of resources finished roughly in an average of 650 milliseconds. The first test there was like 900 something. Uh, the next one was closer to 700 and this one's 650. So there's a few things at play when you run a test like this, but for all intents and purposes, this uh, is a pretty good feel for the load time. Now, if I go to Enviro Gallery on another page here, same thing, blank page. Uh, this one actually has the page, or excuse me, the gallery title attached to it. The other one doesn't. Uh, 27 requests, 2.2 megabytes transferred, 
2.5 megabytes in resources and 689 milliseconds load. I'll do another test there just to kind of get a feel for that average. 656 milliseconds. One more time, 630. So pretty similar to what uh, Elementor is doing, except if you notice the 34 request versus the 27 request, arguably that's because Elementor is loading a lot more uh, JavaScript on this page for uh, the editing experience uh, with within uh, Elementor. And uh, the the interesting thing though is the the payload transferred, so 2.2 megabytes uh, versus uh, 562. So uh, what Elementor might be doing is optimizing these images before they're going out. Uh, and when you're serving up on a uh, sort of cached page, if you will, uh, of images. So it's really six of one, half dozen of the other in terms of performance. It looks like it's pretty similar. Now, this is just a bare bones, high level test, but pretty promising. It doesn't seem like it is drastically uh, overweight and it's not you know, super lightweight, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm not blown away by the speed. It seems pretty darn good, although that payload is pretty good. 562 kilobytes versus the 2.2 megabytes. That's a pretty good savings there. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. It is the Elementor Pro Gallery widget. It's only available in the Elementor Pro version. You can click the links below on my YouTube description. Helps me out, helps the channel, gets me a little bit of affiliate revenue there. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna, are you gonna use this or are you gonna keep with whatever uh, gallery plugin you're already using? It's plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more. Only a thousand people away from hitting 10,000, which is a very small subscription number compared to a lot of other uh, folks out there, but I'm excited to hit it. I'm uh, excited to have you along for the ride. We'll see you in the next video.